Max, do you prefer to have a look online, or are you okay with a handle? I can do the handle. Okay, great. All right. Thank you. Well, I guess I uh, get the dubious honor of going first tonight. I'll try to make everyone proud. So, uh, Max Westman, and about three years ago, I launched a business called Good Hire. And as was mentioned, Good Hire runs background checks on behalf of businesses for individuals looking for a job. And we started this business three years ago, and we had pretty lofty goals. We wanted to really disrupt the traditional employment screening business, and we were pretty successful. We have managed to build Good Hire um, into uh, about 25,000 customers uh, using our product, and it's, uh, it's been a great journey, but I'm not here to talk about that tonight. Um, I'm here to talk about a separate business, which we're about to launch. And in this business, which we call Good Hire True Me, came out of what we were seeing as um, we were launching Growing Good Hire, about 50% of the traffic coming to our site was actually made up of job seekers, individuals who were interested in seeing their own background check. And so as we got more and more of these people coming to our site and, and were a little frustrated that we couldn't provide them this service, we said, all right, well, maybe there's something there. And so we, we built an MVP to kind of test the waters it was really successful, and we said, all right, well, we really think that we can actually revolutionize uh, the hiring industry if we build out a service that meets the needs of job seekers who want to see what's on their own background check. So, what does that look like? This is Good Hire True Me. Uh, we are still in beta, so not, not public yet, but um, what the, the goal of, of Good Hire True Me is to provide job seekers with the opportunity to see the information that's going to be on their background check, potentially before they apply for a job. And that there's a lot of things that can happen when you do that. You can correct any inaccuracies that are potentially on your background check. A lot of times records can get mixed up and, and you're not going to know it until you actually run a background check or even apply for a job and then they run a background check. Um, and there's some other interesting things that we realized that we could do once we started building this network of people running their own background checks. And so I'll, I'll show you what that looks like. Um, so let's pretend that I clicked here and said I want to get my own background check. I went through the process. And here is, is a, a view of what it might look like. It's a little fuzzy on, on this screen, but um, this is essentially the dashboard. And so. I've run a background check on myself, and what I'll do here is, um, this gives kind of an overview of, all right, what's the information of the background check? Um, there's a, a summary of the results, but I'll actually go into the actual um, results themselves, and we'll talk about some of the things that we've done here. So, again, it might be a little hard to actually read this, and I apologize, let me blow it up. Okay. So, I, I will preface this report by saying this is not real information. You might be able to uh, gather that as I show you the, the information that we found on here. So, okay, there, there were a few different checks that were run, um, and it includes a, a national criminal records check, uh, we check for traffic violations, and a check of the sex offender list. Now, this is just a, a small sample of, of the various checks that we can do with, with the Trumi report, but this is the, the most basic, a starter report. So let's see, oh, there's, there's one criminal record that was found. And it looks like, oh, uh, a record was found, uh, but as you start to look at the actual details, you say, okay, there was a, um, a Martian with black hair, that met, and uh, the, the description of the crime is distribution of controlled goo. So totally, totally made up record, but the point being is, when you run your own background check, there's going to be potential information on there that either does apply to you and is something you did, or does not apply to you at all. And and so one of the cool things that we've enabled is the ability to add context to your records. So you can actually add a note, and uh, let's just say, I'll just say it, it wasn't me. <laughs> and so now I saved this note. Now here's the interesting thing that happens. This note now is attached to my record. So if any other employer happens to run a background check on me through Good Hire, this information about my record and all my other information on my background check gets replicated across um, this, this, these network of, of um, 
of background checks. And so what we're able to do is actually create a portable background check for individuals. As they go from job to job, they can update the information in their, in their report. Let's say you're in the gig economy, on-demand economy, and then you're going from job to job, and they want to recheck your information. And so not only do you get the public records, but you also get this additional set of big data that we're able to generate through helping individual, individuals run their own check and then allow them to add commentary on top of their checks. And we also allow you to, to share this report with a potential employer, so you actually get ahead of the game in terms of being proactive about, okay, here, there's some information on my report, I want you to, to be aware of it in case it might affect your ability to hire me. So, that's all the time I have for now, but I'm welcome to, uh, to answer any questions. feedback have you gotten from companies about this information that could have been influenced by their potential employees? And Max, please repeat the question just in case others didn't hear it. Sure. So the question was, what feedback have we gotten from companies uh, about this information that could potentially impact their employment? And, and it's interesting. So our sales team has started talking to some of our customers about this. Again, this is something we haven't launched yet, but we have been trialing it for a while. And one of the interesting things about um, employment law is that when you are hiring someone and you decide actually not to hire them based on a background check, you need to go through what's called an individualized assessment of an individual. And so providing commentary, additional commentary on top of the records actually helps employers um, abide by the, the, this regulation and stay out of trouble with the EEOC, the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. So we've gotten some pretty favorable feedback so far from our, uh, our customers. Way in the back. Yeah, uh, I'll see if I can be heard back here. But um, what's to prevent that from like being used by, like, say, you are a piece of work not in good terms? Could they use that to sort of like get back at you, or like sort of just going like to be able to a negative one-star review? Is there anything like similar that you've seen, or could it be used like that? I'm sorry, I'm not. I'm not quite clear on the question. What's to prevent people from, say, using it vindictively? Like, say you say your employer, and they, and they, they said there's additional information they put down on you, like, negatively. I don't oh, yes. Like so, just to be clear, one, you can only run a background check on yourself. So, I didn't go through the whole uh, oh, okay. purchase process, but you actually have to go through knowledge-based authentication, and you can only run a background check on yourself. And you can only add context on yourself. Oh, okay. And so, an employer can't run a check on you and add commentary on your record and have that then be distributed. So, but, good question. Middle there? Sorry. Uh, will and you certify education in this? We will certify education. So some of the thing, other things we can do besides the, the very basics I uh, showed here is uh, we can verify education degrees, verify previous employment, um, and then we can also do a deeper uh, criminal record search, county level, uh, criminal records, terrorist and, and fugitive watch lists, all that fun stuff. Sir? Is there a way for this person, for our colleagues or employers to add comments? Can, can employers add comments? For our former colleagues. Oh, former colleagues. So that is something that we have on our roadmap. We call it vouching. And it's something that uh, we're likely going to release in further down the road, but it's definitely something that you know, we believe that former colleagues or um, someone in the community might be able to provide a third party um, endorsement for people, especially if they have a criminal record. And we think that's also extremely powerful, especially um, as we're able to syndicate this information to employers. Who you believe is your competition? I mean, background checks have been done for a while now. so. You're right. Back, back, background checks have been done for a while, and right. And so, you know, we have a number of competitors, both um, who've been in the industry for a very long time, and there's a few uh, upstart competitors. And you know, one of the things that we get so excited about this particular offering is that it allows us to take a different angle on background checks. A lot of of the background checking industry is focused on kind of the fear factor. Make sure you don't hire a fugitive or a sex offender, or, uh, someone who's going to do harm to you, to your company or employees. And we take a slightly different perspective. We believe that there's a more positive spin 
it's there, there's this whole element of helping second chancers, as we like to call them, people who have a record, and it really shouldn't be kind of a death sentence to them. And so we believe that we can actually do a lot of good with this particular business. And it also, frankly, helps us differentiate because we're able to generate this data that we can feed back into our background checks for employers. That is something that is not, you can't just buy from a, a, a court database, for instance. I guess that's all the time we have, actually. But um, Max, you'll be around at the end? I'll be around. All right, awesome. Round of applause. Thank you.